Team Doppel. Today we present the last film in our series. It's the film Blueberry Spills by the Latvian director Astra Sotnere. The film tells the story of a Roma family who is collecting berries in the foreign woods. But this film is no grey coloured social drama, no social realistic documentation that accuses or wants to put their finger in the wounds of society. The documentation is rather interested in the poetic dimension of its material. Siis sigrahliva laiki, dogis puuki nenapen būt būtte dīr. Sinā niti grahliva laiki, dogis puuki nape kutte dīr. In that sense, the introductory words go as follows. In sinful times there are more ghosts. When the times are less sinful, the ghosts appear less often. These first words spoken by a Roma woman make it clear that there is a close connection between mystical tradition and life. The film consistently plays in the secluded forest. As it is intended by the film itself, a Roma without a forest isn't a Roma. Jessa, medas lake saare loove, vaj draaba. Muuren sa nidu bersi jake navi diape. Jaaro dau kai sai muuren ja kai fede diirti puke dau. In these forests, the family forms their very own society and collects berries to sell them to survive. You watch the collection of the family in meditative images. This is partially supported by a voiceover in which the family talks about the experiences with the supernatural. These are stories about encounters with spirits, which, according to the family, keep them going. This, is, this shows us a strong spiritual dimension in their life. It is a calm film that allows for nature to leave space, to unfold its beauty and mystery. The film observes carefully, but with distance. The camera seems almost hidden. It does not intervene, but the images do empathize the people's solitude. The film gives us a short but exciting insight into a life that is not really fixed in any way. The family travels further at the end. You may regard the film as a journey into a sort of mysterious intermediate world between day and night.